Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I do a coffee hair rinse on my natural hair. And I bought this container of Folgers coffee to try out this coffee hair rinse, but I actually ended up drinking the coffee and liking it better than the Starbucks veranda blend. And the whole reason why I even bought the Folgers is because I wanted to try out this reusable K-cup pod. But instead, I'll just be using one of these millions of Starbucks blonde rose K-cups because I actually started to like the Folgers better than the Starbucks. But today I drank the Starbucks, so who knows? I always change. And this actually worked out to use the blonde roast because blonde roast has more caffeine than medium or dark roast. So it will be even more stimulating to my hair. I also read online that you can pretty much use any coffee for your hair besides instant coffee because instant coffee has additives in it that can be bad for your hair. And coffee is great for hair growth and hair restoration. Research has shown that applying coffee topically to hair and the scalp might stop hair loss and promote regrowth. And one study in 2007 found that caffeine helped block the effects of DHT in male hair follicles. It stimulated hair shaft elongation, resulting in longer, wider hair roots. It also prolonged the hair growth stage. In the case of male baldness, hair loss typically occurs when the hormone DHT damages hair follicles. Women with too much DHT can also experience hair loss. And hair follicle damage occurs gradually, eventually leading to baldness. But according to research, the caffeine in coffee can help stimulate hair growth and stop hair loss. And this 2007 study also tested the effects of caffeine on female hair follicles and found that it had a growth promoting effect on female hair follicles as well. And since caffeine is a stimulant, it also increases blood circulation to hair follicles. This can also help hair grow faster and become stronger, giving the appearance of fuller, thicker hair. And you might think that drinking coffee would be enough to stimulate hair growth or improve the texture and appearance of your hair. But to get the exact same stimulating effects as this hair rinse by just drinking coffee, you would need to consume around 50 to 60 cups of coffee per day. And also keep in mind that drinking more than 400 milligrams or four eight ounce cups is toxic. So definitely do not try 60 cups a day. Rinsing your hair with coffee may also improve dullness because coffee contains flavonoids, which are antioxidants that promote hair regeneration. Coffee can also make your hair shaft become smoother. This will relieve frizziness resulting in hair that's soft and easier to detangle. And once I brew the coffee, I'm just waiting for it to cool down all the way. And you can also do this by putting it in the fridge and then I'm transferring it into the spray bottle. And I'm just dumping out this rosemary that was previously in the spray bottle and washing it out. And if you guys remember from my last hair growth video, you have to change your rosemary water at most once a month so that you can ensure that it stays fresh. And because caffeine is a diuretic in the body, you might think that it might dry your hair up, but actually caffeine doesn't strip your hair of oils and it actually can help lock in moisture and create a natural sheen on your hair. The increased blood circulation on your scalp also helps move nutrients to the hair roots, which will result in healthier, shinier hair. Also, because coffee is dark in color, it also acts as a stain on the hair. So this is an easy fix for hiding gray strands if you have brown or black hair. But keep in mind that if you have light colored hair, coffee can stain or tint your hair, so you might not want to try this. And if you want to dye your hair with coffee, it's better to use stronger roasts like espresso because espresso will have more of a dyeing effect. There are also some precautions when using the caffeine rinse because you always wanna wait until the coffee completely cools down before transferring it to a spray bottle and to your hair. And to avoid a burned scalp, never apply hot coffee to your hair. Also, if you do have light hair, you can have the same benefits of the coffee rinse by using a shampoo and conditioner that have caffeine as an ingredient instead. And now it's time to apply it to my hair. All I'm doing is sectioning my hair into four sections, spraying the coffee onto my scalp, massaging my scalp with the pads of my fingers, and then working the coffee onto the rest of my hair for the smoothing and moisturizing benefits. Coffee for more. Okay guys, I'm gonna spill some hair growth secrets just as one time. So if your hair is falling, I got you. Let's do a coffee hair rinse for healthy, shiny hair. First thing you wanna do is brew two cups of really strong coffee, let it cool down, put it in a really large bowl, and then after you shampoo and condition, just dunk your entire head in it, throw your hair in it, massage it into your scalp, and then rinse it out with water after 15 minutes. It helps to lay your cuticle flat for shiny hair, and the caffeine prevents balding and hair loss. It stimulates the hair follicle for hair growth. Hair growth stimulation video, shea butter, coffee, that's two teaspoons of coffee, add some honey, that's about two tablespoons of honey, take a big bowl, add some hot water, put in the mix, mix it well together, 
you can filter it because you don't want coffee stuck on your hair after that you can apply it on your hair cover it and then you can stay for 40 minutes then shampoo it out There you have it. daily or use as a prep This is what my hair looked like in the end and it was so soft and moisturized and i'll definitely try this again and i'm also excited to see how it helps my hair grow and so now i'm just putting it up to let the coffee sit in my hair and then i'm gonna wash it out thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like this video subscribe to my channel and comment below if you've ever tried a coffee rinse or if you would ever try it in the future and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys